I'm Ruthie, she, they, and I play Sentinel, she, they. I'm Will, he, him, and I play Moxie, she, her. I'm Immy, she, her, and I play Amaya, also she, her. I'm Steve, he, him, I play Aura, he, him. I'm Sarah, she, her, and I play Freya, she, her. Hi, I'm Mike, he, him, and I'm playing Eugene Ballantyne, he, him. I'm Charlie, he, him, and I'm your DM. The same combination, is it? When it's just a candy. Oh, Thanks for saying the goddamn Thanks. I wasn't sure for a minute. I thought this was dinner. <laughs> Fuck me, right? Sorry. <laughs> that's dinner. <bro. laughs> that's how I like. That's how I like my burgers in a bag, individually right. wrapped. The things they can do. With I'm just putting off the, inevi- the inevitable. <laughs> of whatever the fuck he's gonna do with that whipped cream. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. start with something a little unique and requested. We're actually gonna spend a bit of time telling a story that answers a very requested question, which is, Who are you? what is Ilram's favourite Sunday morning? <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where he was going with it. <laughs> this guy. I've had my Ilram drink. How was he doing? <laughs> Make notes. My, yeah, my favourite it. Sunday morning. <laughs> That's not oh, no, 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 no. Right. Oh, well, damn, I should have made I should have made in West Country. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to make you do all of us. It was going to be great. My family was West Country. Oh, yeah. Still can. Remember, remember when we had fun? That's true. That's you were in Orbit at one stage, right? <laughs> I've gone all around the country with it. <laughs> I've right. been places. Now's the time to make you Spanish. <laughs> so... Embroiled in the many conspiracies and conflicts in Dustmere, you guys finished one job at the Archivist Guild and quickly jumped onto a slightly different adventure where you were <laughs> <laughs> you uh, sped out to sea to seek a potentially stranded vessel uh, that you guys believed could have been uh, one of De- uh, Gaspar de Avicio's uh, lost ships. And you already, you previously knew that he'd been smuggling coil stones. Um, I think you heard that from Dorana, maybe, or in your research, um, Sentinel. And when you got there, it was definitely uh, an unexpected ship. On board were lots of dead bodies. Uh, one uh, surviving member of some sort of group that had a strange tattoo um, that Freya understood to be a uh, sort of bastardized version of the three churches of the Apotheos. Uh, he gave you some hints, I think. He, he kept chanting the word um, Apopticillus and... That's what he was saying. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say syphilis. <laughs> yeah, well, and uh, he told you to find uh, the disciple, I think it was, and then he killed himself with a pen. Uh, a quill. Yes, a quill. You made your way below deck, you found a strange scar um, in reality, a ritualistic circle, a stool in the middle that had a uh, burn mark in the center as though someone had placed a hot coal on it. Um, Bodies of potentially everyone on board. Um, And it turned out that uh, the ship had been seemingly uh, set on fire and it it failed to catch. And you guys quickly fled when uh, your smuggler Oh God, what was his name? Florin. Oh, uh, Florin. He uh, he shouted and one of you guys noticed that there were people uh, approaching. You grabbed this strange bench from the that you couldn't open from the office and dragged it onto the boat. <laughs> and on opening it uh, on your, during your getaway, the explosion of the ship behind you uh, turned out to be the body of potentially the captain. Um, the ship papers inside his jacket identifying the ship as the Velvet Horatio, uh, one of Gaspar de Avicio's ships. And you made your way back to the Dustmere. You convened with Aura after his strange sleep and his strange dreams. Um, the man, strange. a man called Enthor. And we ended as Aura and I think Freya were leaving. Uh, it's relatively late evening. You've just stepped out of the hideout of Kaz's hideout um, and you've just watched 
the giant carriage with the Debiles house sigil trundle past through the, the, the gates of the Glitters. What are you guys going to do? Wow, he literally brought the fucking kitchen sink. <laughs> Sat on that for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> It's a big old carriage. How many horsepower is it? You are in the high down. <laughs> How many horsepower oh, do you think nice. it is? Nice. <laughs> um, I can see at least four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think everyone else is in the high down, right? You guys, yeah, just you, uh, I know that you guys are working the mask because you took yes. two hours. So sense you still have the time. You I was go, talking to Zeal for a bit. Talking to Zeal for a bit. Yes, we hadn't done that yet. We have. Have we? Have. Oh yes, we have, yeah. we have, we have. Um, your time in the two hours that they were spending on the mask, you haven't done anything yet. You guys are outside. There we go. Mm -hmm. Is it evening still? Yes, it's late yeah. evening now. Um, we were heading to the forge first yeah. and then Temple of Duness. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is late evening. So you're going to go, uh, the, the Tooth and Steel you're going to. Yeah. So yeah, the forge uh, is close by. So you make your way over the other side of the Mariner's Market to uh, the artisan's uh, area and you see the Tooth and Steel. It's like a dome of mud, the breadth of about two houses, um, and it is, it is closed. Um, you can hear some shifting around inside, but the shutters are down. Do you have a secret knock? Um, no. Uh, <laughs> and I'll just uh, walk over and try and open the door. It opens. I will walk inside. <laughs> okay. This I is will a sweet stay on the outside and keep watching. Sure. Okay. Freya's waiting outside. You step in, Aura, um, as you have done hundreds, if not thousands of times while you're working here. You step into a familiar space. Um, there's that metallic dust covering everything. Everything's kind of getting a bit rusted on the edges where it's been knocked and the heat hits you, even uh, even out here in the desert, it's much hotter in here still. And across the other side of the room, you see the back of Tomvok, the short uh, orc. Um, he has his back to you. He's tending to the forge, just setting it down for the night, covering it, insulating it. Um, this is something you know you do at the end of the night and prepping up to leave. Is anyone else there? Nope, it's just him. Another busy day? Um, he looks over at you, and then he glances at the closed shutters. Uh, sorry, Rider, right, didn't expect you. No. That's all right. Uh, I was expecting Sariki to be here, but I guess no. she finished. Yeah, she seems keen to get home and do some stuff of her own. I think she's got some some work on the side. But uh, look, uh, it's good to see you, but. I can't, I, I can't be seeing you out like, like this. Not since what happened. It's okay, they don't know who they're looking for. It's a really good person. Black looks, uh, it's the I, don't, I don't know how he picked up. <coughs> Someone is singing next door for, for people that um, wonder why he's laughed. It's the local bard in the tavern. I think he'll be fine. Playing Wonderwall. Uh, <laughs> He yelled at you. What did you just say, sorry? Um, you said, you didn't, I think you just said... Oh yeah, uh, they don't know who they're looking for. Right. Uh, I, I, I don't know what you mean. Um, it's really complicated. Um, it's okay, I've got a friend outside keeping an eye out. All right, I, I, I trust you. You know, but uh, obviously I don't want to. I don't want to happen to me what happened to your. Well, that that won't. Uh, he was involved in something else, um, something dangerous. Uh, um, so I'm like Leonidas. You know, we did a lot of work for him. Uh, he takes a seat on the on the bench, starts picking something out of one of his tusks. There was, um, there was that job, um, the night before I left. Um, what happened with it? Job before you left, the night before you left? The knives. The knives. You asked us to, um, go and 
get a feel for things before you decided whether we should do the job. Oh, this was down in the ground. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> as you can imagine, after what happened and the murders, uh, that job never came to fruition. Do you know if anyone else took it? Not down here. Um, to be honest, not many people are taking jobs from the grand at the moment. Uh, it's all a bit of a mess in there from what I've gathered. I'll keep my nose clean though. Yeah, so. apparently someone burned down my house. Oh, no, that's the glitters. Oh. Yeah, that, but I mean, to be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised because, uh, I mean, you hear stories, but uh, houses fighting with each other and it's awful stuff, but uh, no, nothing's happened with the knives. Uh, I think that it was someone in Fabrian's household. Uh, he was one, He was uh, on the coin of the Zaithwaites, but I understand he was a, a bit of a solo artist, if you will. Yeah, I got that feel when we saw him. Um, Do I you want a drink or anything, though? Sure. Um, he goes over to a chest that's suspiciously close to an open flame, takes out a bottle of spirit. Fills a, that's a good place to store spirits. <laughs> yeah, fills a clay mug with it. I don't suppose <coughs> you've got one more. Um, Always. And I'm going to turn to the door um, and just cast message to Freya. Uh, I think it's okay. Um, you can come in if you like. Uh, all right. It's all right. I'll, uh, I'll keep watch. <laughs> well, never mind. I just to right. yourself. <laughs> he, uh, he takes the third and just <laughs> knocks it back <laughs> and hands it to you. I was wondering if you knew about Ali, uh, where she might be. I heard she's out of the city. Uh, <sighs> the letter's all I got. Um, I did do some digging, despite my better judgment. Um, we didn't, to be honest, after he was taken, it was hard to, to get close to anything really. But in the days leading up to it, uh, it was clear that he'd sorted out moving the family. Um, and they went quick and they went quiet one night. Uh, and that's all I know. Um, the only other information I've I've received it in that letter, um, and I have no idea what it said. Is well, Lena you know, just gave a false description of me, but they were looking for me. Um, it's it goes back a long time before I was in Dasmir, um, but there are people looking for the person I used to be uh, before I came here. Um, I don't know who, but at least she's safe for now. Yeah, um, if I know Leonidas, he's done everything he possibly could to keep her safe. Yeah. And he cheers his... Yeah. ...drinks. I just keep trying to think of somewhere he might have mentioned in the past that would make sense, but keep coming up empty. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, maybe you're looking in the wrong place. Maybe uh, it's no good looking back and you've got to, you've got to look forward. And if, you, if, if, if what's behind you hasn't got the answers, then, then make them happen in front of you. It's, uh, that's why I started this place. So, you know, I'll make something of what's ahead. That's uh, always wise advice, yeah. Well, if you say so. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's getting late. I'll uh, let you um, get back to finishing off. Um, we've got one more stop to make. But, um, well, we'll be around, but um, 
be careful, there's something going on, but we don't know what. Keep yourself safe. We'll try. He shakes your hand. Nods. Okay. Sees I'll you out. I'll see you soon. You too. You can still tell he's a little on edge, but he's definitely softened since you saw him at the house when he literally just closed the door. Um, yeah. But yeah, he, he sees you out. He pokes his head out and he looks at you, Freya, for a moment. Nods. Closes the door. How was he? Yeah. Best than the last time. Uh, I actually got in the door this time. And, um, he doesn't know much. At least not what the answers I'm looking for. Is that a bar? Is that a bar? Got, yeah. Someone in There's the, a rowdy tavern nearby. Yeah, someone, some, they've got a, a guest at the uh, Little Bristle. Um, <laughs> little halfling with a... I said Kazoo. Uh, I'd well, pay good money to watch that. Yeah, that, yeah he's, that's canon. He's a kind of halfling in there with a kazoo. A really famous And every now and again he could just need wails. I to change my pr- instrument proficiency. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where are you guys, what are you guys going to... Did you say... Do you still want to go to the... Yeah, yeah, I think we should. Uh, oh, I'll post it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you make your way over to the Temple Corridor. Uh, it's not too far away. It's north out of the um, Mariner's Market. And as you arrive, uh, it's a narrow corridor of cobbles and it winds. And in every, in, uh, every now and again in a turn in the road, there is a temple or some kind of monument. Um, and it is quiet. There are some candles lit by some of the monuments. The one where um, Ilram was hiding behind the, uh, it was Arap, I think it was. There's a few candles burning there. I'm going to mention him as many times as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Whereabouts are you headed? Where did you want to go? Um, Temple Junius, probably. Is there know... likely to be anyone in there? At... Uh, you would know it's, there will probably be someone there, but they wouldn't have open service because generally the dawn chorus is open early. Um, Funny that. Yes. <laughs> it's been a weird few days. Sure. Yeah. It's um, been a year. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over there. Okay. Are you wearing your anything that identifies you as a? I like b- put my symbol on. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Knock at the door. Uh, sure. You hear some sort of bustling around inside. Um, yeah. Like it's that. a radio show. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, from the door, uh, you hear someone unlocking a bolt, um, and you see the, uh, the, 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 the familiar face, the cleric that helped you out when Aura was sleeping. Uh, go, uh, Ganassus. Sister Ganassus. Sister. Ganassus. She's a pre- uh, prelate. Prelate? Yeah. A prelate, sorry. Prelate? I don't know. I think <laughs> I, I, I say prelate. Um, <laughs> prelate. Uh, not prelate. It's your world, to say. <laughs> uh, I thought that was a legit uh, yeah, but you can make title. It your, I think it's prelate. You can make it your own um, thing. And she sort of squints at you. She's got these tiny little glasses that are like. Uh, yes. a- apologies for it being so. Do you remember me? Oh, I could never forget. <laughs> cool. like, oh, I see. He's doing well. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is, this is my friend. Are you here for another medical woe? <laughs> um, yeah, actually. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, t- this just I, quite interesting. Is it an emergency? Well, I. Th- I think so. I'm missing a year. Oh, oh no. What on earth are you talking about? Don't worry. She looks at you. <laughs> what does he mean? I'm not actually sure he's not mentioned this. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, uh, I think it's been a, it was a year since um, you... Well, it's, it's nice to meet you while I'm conscious. Yes. Yes. Odd fellow you are. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, yes. I'll be with you, yes. Um... I thought I would just stop by to say thank you for helping, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> she, seems, she seems a little uh, taken aback. She's like, that is quite all right. 
um, I if your friend uh, sent for me. Um, I must admit it was strange, but uh, <laughs> clearly you're doing well. Yep. Yeah. What else can I can I help you with? It's just, sorry, it's can a bit. Like, uh, uh, yeah, roll a persuasion check <laughs> with advantage. <laughs> Oh, it's really not good. What's wrong with your dice? It's a low DC. Um, persuasion. Mm-hmm. Um, eight. That was the DC. <laughs> uh, she looks a little bit like, uh, and she looks at both and she's like, okay, if, we, if you're quick, um, I, yeah, she opens the door. She, I've got some tea on. I've just closed the door. She walks in. Tea would, yeah, tea. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Lovely. It's nothing fancy. Um, I mean, nothing much fancy down here. She starts clanging the pots. Just pours the tea for you guys. Yes. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> she puts, sits down with you at the front. Um, you're kind of off the uh, off the side of where the altar is. There's these steps up into the ceiling at the front. And on all of the steps, there's some candles. There are some um, figureheads and paintings of sort of artists' impressions of Juness. She sits you down on sort of some chairs off to the side and pours your tea. Yep. Um, so, yeah. So, you know, last time you said I, you, you would help with anything. Yes, of course. Yes. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm taking this seriously. It's uh, well, we just don't get many clerics, and uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little nervous. But uh, it's wonderful to. What? <laughs> well, I, you're from... Or it's just staring off and random <laughs> things in a room. <laughs> yeah. You're from Sahira, so... Uh, yep. Yes, <laughs> it speaks for itself. Uh, you said you're a, a prelate yourself? Yeah, I'm a prelate. <laughs> roll a deception check. <laughs> to be fair, you already rolled for this. Do I get you to roll again? Because you did already roll and succeeded. <laughs> I don't know how convincing it was last time. Uh, no, I think it was on the border. So roll again. This is, but you've got advantage because you already mm. scraped through last time. It's a different dice, dude. Deception. Uh, this is deception. Well, it's not going to be. It's going to be the exact same. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, yes, I knew. I knew. I knew. Uh, yes, you did say. Uh, <laughs> I was wondering if. Well, you said you don't see many. Clerics from Sahira through here. No, not many at all. Uh, we're so uh, out in the out in the sticks. I, I mean, ironically, there aren't many sticks. But did, did you happen to see a, a group say like a year ago come through? Um, you'll have to give me more information. What are you What are you referring to exactly? A group of. of... It would have been clerics of Janess from Sahira. Coming through Dustmere. Okay, this is me asking. Is this something that I need to be? I should be aware of. <laughs> Possibly. Because I have I have notes, but I didn't know there was a group of just Juness clerics. What would it? Uh, okay. Uh, did Ursa come through here? Okay. <laughs> there no, you no, that's go. that's fine. <laughs> uh, back 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 into. Well, if it was just her, then take. No, back. no, that's good because it was a long time ago. So yeah. she's like. We've never had a group uh, of, of just Juness clerics. We've had groups of, uh, uh, of several uh, come down because it's so far away. Um, a year ago, a year ago. Uh, nothing, I'm, I'm sorry, nothing rings a bell. We've had a few, a few Juness clerics, maybe three or four over the last year, have come down specifically to see me. But uh, other than that, no. Could you describe any of them? Oh, goodness. Uh, well, uh, there was a young man. Uh, oh, goodness. Um, and she walks over to her, her notes. And she's got like a load of uh, a load of books stacked up on the side. She lifts off like one of the big tomes, starts flicking through. Um, I know, as I said, it's one certain man called Aaron. That was him, was the young man. Uh, there was, flicks through again, a lady called, uh, oh, Carolyn. 
Is this, uh, are you looking for, you're looking for someone specifically, I imagine? Uh, I mean, yes. I mean, they would have looked a bit like me, I guess. Oh! Oh, right! And she starts picking through. Starts picking through a bit further. We have. With some high intelligence, low. <laughs> <laughs> we have someone here. Uh, ah! Two of them, they came in a small uh, coach. Uh, a few from Peldula, uh, one for Paldon, didn't get their names. Juness, uh, they came in a pair. A young man uh, named uh, Jezrian. Oh, you're going to have to spell that one. <laughs> Jezrian, I mean, I've, I, this could be wrong, I wrote it down myself. I've got G, I've got J E Z. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah. R-I-E-N. Oh, E. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then uh, someone here called Arissa. Arissa? Yes. Do I know any of those? And she did look a little like you. Uh, my memory's not My memory's not what it once was. I'm not actually that old. Like... But... <laughs> she could have been using a fake name. People have been known to do that in this show. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your boy, do you, you do. I mean... <laughs> oh my goodness, is this on? Is this why you're here? Oh my goodness, I'm so unprofessional. Yes, oh. <laughs> this is why I'm here. I'm checking up on oh. the records to check that you're keeping them all. Okay, roll a performance or You can roll performance or deception. Either is going to be shit. <laughs> the other in the line. I can't even guide myself because she's right there. <laughs> is there anything here? like that I can pick up and want and look at, just like in the background? Yeah, there's. I mean, what there's the use? steps. So where the altar normally well, is in a, in a temple, there's. Did I say I had? Mm -hmm. Do I have the advantage? Uh, sure. She's a hundred percent bought into, you and you've got your sigil. Um, <laughs> Or if she's going around oh, picking oh, things up. Uh, yeah, there's that, the steps at the back of the temple with lots of different things on it. And she's like... 14? I, uh, I, uh... How's the tea? Um, I've not drunk any of it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I Okay, no, I said that, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, look, I... Uh, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> it's not actually for your hospitality. I know, that, I know that this place isn't quite by the book, oh but we, we have to adapt to um, to the local environment, the local populace, as you know, and I think I'm doing a very good job. Um, Honestly, I'm very impressed. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was going to double way <laughs> Oh, I didn't. Sorry, I was complete. I, I won't lie to you. I thought I was. I thought I was the complete opposite. Of this bitch. Would, would you mind terribly if I just take just a little quick look to check it's all up? Yeah. Oh, and the standards. Absolutely. Go ahead. Right ahead. So it's a weird offset and oh, yeah. <laughs> I will. Uh, I've, I've got to make another pot of tea. <laughs> she or drop something in the background. <laughs> um. Please don't touch anything. <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh, uh, she's busy right now. Um, what do you know about bringing dead people back to life? <laughs> um, is this... Is he's, this a... Uh, he's a stray we picked up. He's not quite sure. <laughs> because you, you came, you asked little, me to. Yeah, yeah, I did. What, what is, what is he? Why is he here? Is this some kind of test? Is no. This... He... Yes. Her old deception chair. Oh my god! Can I? Am I just looking a... in the book? <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so in, within that, you've already started looking in the book. Or just one lizard. Round the book. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I just kind of thought, did your character go, no, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was a high DC. Uh, yes. Um, right. Well, uh, and she looks at you and she's clearly like, she's clearly like r reciting stuff. <laughs> Not only is that absolutely forbidden, uh, it is uh, against several pieces of doctrine that I won't labour. <laughs> Uh, but it is also an inappropriate time of day to ask me such a question. 
She looks at you for approval. <laughs> yes, it's terribly <laughs> off the books. So it. You're the same one. Oh, okay, so it? you need a right to sleep on it and think about it. Okay. But obviously, you know, it's possible. Uh, I mean, well. Anyway, I'm going to oh, make it's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> I know it's possible. It happened to me. No. He's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was at work. No. Oh, this is a test. Is he not working for you? Or. I... No, no, he's a stray. <laughs> I'm so good. Okay, I'm gonna go and make some tea. I'm very confused. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're looking at the book. She's about to make some tea. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are you What are you looking in the book for? Uh, so what look, you YouTube uh, is there anything about like what they were doing here? Like, or is it just a listening? Uh, roll in an investigation check. Fifteen. Okay, uh, so she hadn't moved the pages far, far, so it doesn't take you long to flip back to where she's mentioned Larissa and Jezrian. Um, and basically, uh, all it says there is visitors and researchers, and they were there for only a couple of days. Mm. Okay. How long ago? Uh, I wouldn't know the exact date, but it was around a year. Nothing else like written in there. Just visitors and your set. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's, you know, it's it's quite sparse, um, but uh, yeah. So where you notice the name Jezrin and Arissa, it's actually Ursa. Oh, okay. And, she, and she's. <laughs> she has terrible handwriting. Yeah. <laughs> With, what did you roll? Fifteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You you identify as that name. You stroke it, <laughs> stroke the book. She comes out with another pot of tea. It's like two litres of tea at this point. It's great tea. Oh, thank you. Can I have some more? Yes, of course. <laughs> she pours it in. Well, uh, what, I can, what else can I do to um, sort of expedite this process? And <laughs> Do you have a book about the eternal flood? Um, I don't know what that is. I'm afraid. Oh, it sounds religious. No, I think... I will roll for her. She has no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we've disturbed you quite enough. Oh, no, no, absolutely not. Even. I understand these things have to be done at strange hours, you know, otherwise... <laughs> you know, you can't catch me at my best. <laughs> Yes. Uh, well, are you going to be in the city? Uh, maybe. We might be uh, around. Okay. And you're... Oh, um, I'll make sure I come back um, at a proper time. As a guest. As a civilian. He might come back for morning prayers. Of course. Well, uh... You should go. <laughs> I will uh, bid you good night. Uh, Dawn's blessing. Ah, and with you. Good Go. good evening. Okay. <laughs> she closes the door, bolts it. Can I close the wall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Just send a message back inside. Okay, bye. <laughs> you don't hear anything back. <laughs> yeah. The stones are quite warm, actually. The stones are warm? Yeah, it's from the sun, yeah. <laughs> but seriously, are you drunk? <laughs> I don't know what Tom Ford gave me. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, let's go did back. We, did we achieve what we wanted to? Kind of. Okay, I don't think we should come back. <laughs> I really don't think we should. <laughs> <laughs> what okay. were you looking for in the book? I've told... Was he was he awake when I mentioned? I don't remember. Do you, were you awake when I mentioned my sister being missing? No. Oh, well, my sister is missing. <laughs> oh, I was I, I looking to see if she'd come here, and she had. She was with that Jezrian guy. Do I know the name Jezrian? No, nothing rings a bell. Didn't really tell me anything about why they were here though. Roll an intelligence check. Just a straight intelligence check. Fifteen. 
Mm. Oh, Makes yeah. sense, really. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's an, not an unfamiliar name, but... Mm. Yeah. More missing people. So are you guys making your way back to the hideout? Or oh, to the coal and petal, sorry? Yeah. Okay, so you make your way back to the coal and petal. Um, you walk through the Mariner's Market. Um, as you walk in, uh, there's a man behind the counter, a half-elf tanned guy in a dark shirt, loose cotton jacket, never seen him before. She nods, just wipes down a glass. And you guys go up. Rooms, okay. Okay. Uh, and within that time, we're probably reaching the time of catching up with you. So, Amaya, what did you spend the last couple of hours doing? What? Sleeping. <laughs> you're going to be, you're gonna be like. <sighs> Go on then. Well, because I thought he was going to be the nice lady, I was going to offer to cook <laughs> <laughs> in the kitchen okay. for the evening. But like when I'm chopping stuff up, I'm going to be like practicing, little, like using the knife as a mini sword, practicing. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, like, okay, um, so you go Die. down. So you go down instead of you see this guy there. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's a tanned half elf. He looks quite. Uh, he looks quite strong. Um, Good evening, Mister Strong Half Elf. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Um, I've been conversing with your colleague, the nice one, not the moody one. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> okay. Um, and the other day, she allowed me to learn how to like make cocktails and stuff um, for a couple of hours. And I was wondering if you would want me to cook in your kitchen this evening, because I'm good at cooking and I have a hankering to cook some food for people. Um, okay, uh, roll quickly roll an inside check. See, the corn petal has a part as well. <laughs> that is a 14. Uh, the guy, something weird about the guy. He's either new and uncertain, mm-hmm. um, or he looks, at, in your experience, maybe a little bit threatened. Um, right, so you want to cook for us for free? Yeah, like, if you've got any customers coming in and they want food, I'm happy to cook. It's a passion of mine. I like to practice in as many places as I can on my travels. Uh, nah, sorry. Why? We've got someone in the kitchen. I can help them. It's all right. Please. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, like, Charlie's seen that face too oh. many times. <laughs> <laughs> that is a twelve. Uh, no, he seems he seems very adamant. Um, no, sorry, it's really not. Um, we don't teach people stuff. It's not what we do here. We just serve. You wouldn't need to teach me. I know how to cook. I don't know how to make cocktails, but I do now. Look, I don't... Are you okay? You seem proper shifty. <laughs> <sighs> We're really doing social it's... stuff well today. Yeah, it seems like we've forgotten how to converse with other people. <laughs> he puts the uh, towel down, and goes behind the bar, shuts the door. Wow. Free bar? Just sit on the bar. Okay. And then knock on the bar and go, excuse me. Doesn't answer. I'm gonna go over onto the other side of the bar and open the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you hop over the bar, you open the door. Oh my god. Uh, there's no one in there. The kitchen is empty. Hello? Uh, there is a window off to the right-hand side uh, that, is unlo- that is unlocked, but there there is no one in there. So there is no other chef back here. There's no staff. It's done a problem. Can I look out, out of the window? Yeah. Uh, you look out the window. It, it leads onto the alleyway. Um, you, you look out directly onto the alleyway. You can see the cobbles, and then down a set of stairs leads to Kazaria's hideout. So you're looking into the alleyway. Is there any sign of anyone who's just legged it? There's, there's no there's no other window, no. Is there any other doors or anything in this room? No, there's just the one window. Okay, I'm going to go back out to the front. Are there any customers? Uh, yeah, there's a couple of people in the uh, drinking. One, one of them sat by the fire. 
the one that's out by the fire. I'm just going to go up to him. Like, sorry to interrupt your drink this evening, but I just have a quick question. Yeah, it's like a he's a, the, the dwarf that's there quite a lot in a little in a little j- uh, waistcoat. <laughs> Very, very quick question. Um, who served you this evening? You're a party, aren't you? That's not, that's not what I'm asking. Um, did, did, who served you this evening? Was it a woman? Oh, no, some new guy. Never seen him before. <laughs> does he seem a bit shifty to you? Oh, no, he seemed like a good chap. Okay. Have you seen the other two ladies today? Uh, no. Okay. Got him. What, something happened? Someone hurt? No, 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 just, um, just, uh, just felt a bit unusual here. Um... Enjoy your drink. Uh, I'm going to um, go to Kaz's, but through the window in case I see anything on my leg it down there. Okay, yeah. Oh, wait, you go through the window the guy, that you think the guy yeah. left? Okay, so you hop the... Oh, maybe I should have looked in the kitchen. I'm, I'm already out. It's fine. Yep, so you're in the alleyway. You've hopped through the window. There's no one there. Oh, I'm going to run down to Kaz's and knock on the door. Okay. You guys hear the knocking? I know. I'll go and see who is. Um, something weird just happened. In. So we, we go into the... Okay. Yeah. Airlocked. Yeah, airlock. Um, we so... close the first door, then we shut the door. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I was just in the colon petal, and I asked if I could do some cooking, like I did the cocktails the other night, but like cooking. Yeah. And the guy was really shifty and weird about it, and then refused, and then went out of the back into the kitchen like looking a bit pissed off so I followed him and opened the door and he was gone but the window was open what did he look like? strong half elf tanned tanned clothing? he was wearing the uniform uh, a, a white shirt a little bit of a cravat and a waistcoat yeah I said that one second I just want to check something while uh, Sentinel was like f- f- busying through her notes, Moxie and uh, Eugene, you're probably just about f- coming towards the end of making the mask at this point. Did V routinely hire half elves? Uh, for what purpose? Generally speaking. Uh, the only yes, they 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 may do, uh, but it would you would know that it would. <laughs> It's not beyond the pale, but uh, roll an intelligence check with advantage. Move your foot, please. Do you get a, uh, for your background, do you have any skills f- just from that that you have proficiency in? Just from my... Like, uh, oh. history is wrong, but I'm wondering if your background has given you a proficiency I can give you, basically. My proficiencies are deception, intimidation, stealth, and persuasion. Okay, so yeah, roll an intelligence check with advantage. Nine. Yeah, uh, you would probably be, you think you'd be reaching to, to make an assumption like that. There are definitely half elves hired all across the city. They're one of the most numerous uh, races in the Asildan Empire. I, that, that doesn't sound good for us. No. Fuck. What time is it? Like about the time Kaz would have come home. Or yeah, she's she's probably uh, yeah arriving around and out around now. It's getting on for bedtime. Hi, Kaz. Sorry, no, you're just in the front door. But did you see a strong, tanned half elf? She walks over to the drinks table. <laughs> she pops. In a, a white shirt. Whiskey. A whiskey? Oh, a whole, whole and petal <laughs> uniform. Have you seen day. anyone of that description go past you in the past five minutes? Um, no, I can't say that I have. No. Okay. This is weird and I'm now worried that Grumpy and Friendly are dead. What are you or talking about? The new, uh, new employee at the Colin Petal. You guys are probably coming back at this time as well, so everyone's together. Did we see anyone when we're, like, yeah, when we're walking uh, Oh, no, because uh, didn't you just say that they walked into the colon petal and saw him at the bar? Hey. Yes, you did. My bad. So we watched her go through the window. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> watched her <laughs> fly with him, sit on the bar, so, walk out the back. I mean, I kind of, I kind of messed up a little bit because you guys have gone for two hours, but it still works. So you would have come down and seen them entering into their rooms. You came down, spoke to the barman. Yeah, he okay, left. so we went to room. You're, okay. So you went up to your room. Um, 
So yeah, I was gonna let you roll in, but I guess that's that doesn't work. Sorry. No, no, no. Uh, okay. Um, wh- what is what are you talking about? So basically, I just went to go because yeah, you, you can you can yeah, yeah, I you explain everything. That. Okay, right. Um, I mean, yes, it's strange. When Maybe was the he last was... time they hired someone there. Um. No, the girls would have probably. No, you're 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 being smart, actually. Um... Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I like why I was fully raised her my life. Like, why you gave yourself the plus one? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, you did! did. It paid off! Well, that was up, I added a plus um, one to my game. Technically, you don't level up until you've had a long rest, but yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, True. this is it! This is what makes you smart! It's growing! It's growing! Well, uh... Okay, I think I think you should all stay here tonight. Um, we're safe um, for sure. Shouldn't we go and look for Grumpy and Friendly? I mean, that's up to you. Just check out the coal and petal and check like that they're not tied up anywhere. The reality is, if there's someone hired to spy on you, which is I'm assuming what you are suggesting. Yeah. When you say you, you mean us as a group. Who would have hired them? I don't think so. Are you sure? They think you're dead. Are you sure? I am sure. (laughs) I thought you were dead. You know. Who else? Who else could want you dead? Dad. <laughs> we left them in Christmas. Gaspar? Making sure that we've not told anyone. Oh, you guys haven't told her anything about the boat yet, have you? No, she's because she's literally just got home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why would he want you dead? Well, all the stuff that we found, if he wants to make sure that we're keeping our end of the bargain, keeping our mouths shut. What, what did you find? On the boat or in the... Because we would have told her... I would have told her what we found out in the desert. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but he paid for your silence, right? So you think he might be just... Not And then we were it. out on the... Well... How long have we been back from the ship? Mm, couple, yeah, a couple of hours. Because wasn't it half-elves that were climbing on the boat? Or did I uh, that? You saw one person... <laughs> And I can't remember if he was a human or a half elf. <coughs> um, the boat. I, don't, I don't think it would be what's his face, the guy who paid for our silence, because surely he wouldn't have waited this long because also he already paid us. So it would be backwards for him to pay us and then wait a week and then get us killed. It's whether or not he's just spying or whether he actually is. It's true. <coughs> But why did the guy just leg it? I only asked to do some cooking. Well, if you think they're tied up. And then, and then he said, no, we've already got a cook. And when I went into the kitchen, there was literally no one there. So he didn't want you in the kitchen. Where would you stash two people if you knocked them out? Dead easy. Broom cupboard. In the kitchen, broom cupboard, yeah. Let me go check the kitchen broom cupboard. <sighs> is, there, is there a broom cupboard in the kitchen, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> the awesome cars. I'm asking you as the DM. Uh, is when that you were in there, there is... you you saw that you went into the back room behind the bar. And there was a door that would have led into the kitchen. Oh, I thought I went out out into the kitchen. Yeah, you said I went into the kitchen. Yeah, you did. Yeah, and there was only one. There was a one window in there, but you didn't look. You didn't look around, right? Okay. Uh, you just, no. You just glanced in, and your passive is eleven. Yeah. No, thirteen. Okay. But still. <laughs> <laughs> Should we? We're just in there. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we're just, just in our room. Yeah, we just sure. The other Do thing. Do we need to go get? If we need to, Kaz, if we need to stay here, should we go get Freya and Aura? Yeah, we probably should get them to come down. You okay. can go up. I'm. I'm going to go get them, and on the way, I'll I'll make my way through the kitchen. Okay, so on you're going back in the window. Yeah. yeah. And you go on your own, okay? You go out. You walk up the stairs. Are you going out? Are you going in through the window? 
Well, yeah, I'll go back the way I came. Go because, in through the kitchen because, window? Yeah, because I want to have a look in the kitchen and see if there's a broom cupboard. And, and also nobody else saw you leave, so... Yeah. Yeah. You go in through the kitchen window, um, and uh, you're in you're in the pan- you're in the pantry again. Okay. Can I look around for anywhere where you could stuff a human or two? Uh, yeah, sure. Roll a perception check. Uh, yeah, roll a perception check. <laughs> that is an eighteen. Doesn't look like anyone's cooked in here uh, for a day. There's no people hot, like stashed in a cupboard, or, like in under the desks. Uh, so there are, are there any cupboards, any other doors? No. Okay. As I'm going up to get Freya and Aura, anything that like, I'm going to try at every door that I see. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to talk us through every door that I try. They're, they're all they're all locked. Uh, upstairs, they're all locked. I'm going to unless knock. theirs is they left theirs open. I'm going to knock on yeah, each door then as I go. <clears throat> okay. Uh, two of them answer, mm-hmm. and they're one of them's a human. You got like a literal nightcap on. Uh, oh hi there! Just a quick survey to ask if you're enjoying your stay. I was. <laughs> lovely, good. Have a lovely evening. Sleep well. Okay. I'll see you at breakfast in the morning. Oh, we get breakfast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> lovely. Okay. <laughs> and the other one, the other one opens, uh, and it's a woman, um, a dwarf woman. Hi there. Just checking you're enjoying your stay. Yeah, she's smoking the pipe. Brad. Yeah. Great. Nothing uh, that you have felt you need to um, complain about? Any disturbances or anything like that? Probably this one. Does this one count? <laughs> no. Thank you very much. Okay. Have a lovely evening. Sleep well. Close the door. Okay. Well, I'll just find my way to... Then. Was the old hair in the door disturbed when we uh, went in? Did you replace it? Yeah, I think uh, I did No, because Aura just wandered off. Oh, yeah. mm. fuck Aura. <laughs> <laughs> it was on the floor. Wasn't there like flour and shit on the floor yeah, as well? Yeah, there was, yeah. Any footprints? Uh, yeah, Aura's. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, <laughs> Aura, there's Aura and Kaz's. There's two sets. One, you know, one coming in, two going out. <gasps> <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's use our fingers. <laughs> what are you guys? Chill. I wait. Who's? Is have we just been leaving the the God's Lantern and stuff just in the room? I thought you had it on you. I had it. On you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the last time you that was in Sentinel's place. I, I assume like, you guys no, carry everything with you unless you say you need it. Yeah, good. Okay, but nothing else is like missing. There's nothing to be missing, is there? Right. Small room. Where's the spoon? Yeah. Where's the spoon and the spoon <laughs> Yeah, it's still there. It's really oniony. <laughs> okay, so gross. So it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. So do you tell them what yeah, you... Yeah, I'm going to explain what just happened and then say, Kaz thinks it's best if we stay at hers this evening. Did this guy look at me when I walked in? He nodded at both of you guys. When was the last time people saw the other two... When was the last time we saw one? This morning? Um, we left real early. Did I see them? You when didn't I see them, no. Wouldn't they live yeah. in the inn? Uh, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes not. It, it's, it, I wouldn't say, you, you wouldn't know, but it's not uncommon for a small inn to not house people, especially if they live in the city. Mm. Can we go downstairs and I want to take a look, see, behind the bar. Sure, okay. Uh, you go down, ask, I'll get you to roll a perception check I'm or an investigation gonna, check, actually, because you've got your perception. Look, I'm like, just going to lean against the bar damage. and, like, scan <coughs> people. Sure, but it's like, just casually. the two. Yeah. It's just 19? 19, investigation. Oh, uh, investigation. Mm. No, 14. Okay. Uh, I have plus seven to my perception now. <laughs> 14. <laughs> it's it's nice. Nice. It was... Um, yeah, it doesn't look like anyone's cooked in here all day. Okay. Is That's there any weird. signs of like scuffles, like any utensils that are out of place or missing? No, no it, it's missing. very tidy. It's like walking into somewhere that's been closed down and it's early morning and you're there to open. Can I, me- to come back. can I message Amaya? Like, I was at the bar. 
I don't think we're safe here. There's I, someone's looking for me. I I know, Maura. That's why I said we should go to Gaz's. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you guys doing? Me and Moxie still making the. Um, uh, you uh, you will say you're finishing now. How many people cool. are out? So ding. And you then you you've already cast identify as well. Cool. Did we collect them? Are they in there? They're already there. They're They're already there. there. Yeah. You, you, you guys have been there for the conversation, yeah. You were there when, when they arrived. I was talking about I wonder if they'll check the wine cellar. That's where I would put people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that nice cold place. Uh, dark. Not, not, not that I've ever stowed anyone away in there. Lots of nooks and crannies. Was it? Right, what are they call on Petal Team then? Do you think there's a wine cellar? Are there keys anywhere? Uh, yeah, there's, there we usually kept behind the bar, but you're like leaning the other side again. You're leaning on the customer side of it, right? Are there lots of people? Like, is there's two. Because I'm thinking we'll call last one? orders and lock up. Do, do it then. Is there a bell? Uh, yeah, there's a I'd bell. I'd like to ring the bell and call last orders. <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> the, the dwarf gets up. So I'm like, oh, it's a bit early. <laughs> I know, so, sorry mate, bank holiday. I'll get another whiskey, please. Would you like it to go? No. Thank you very much. I don't know this three. No. We're out of whiskey. Yeah. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hope he just goes it helps and stuff. Can I guide myself on this one? Sure. He's a little bit tipsy. Let's see if he notices. <laughs> he does not notice. Mm, That's I mean, good. That is going to be. What was the persuasion? Yeah, but also oh, roll yeah. a sleight of hand to see if he notices you guiding yourself. What was your persuasion? 21. Okay, that's with guidance. Ooh. Five. What are you doing? What are you, are you doing some kind of... No, she's got a twitch. <laughs> what did you say to persuade him, actually? What was uh, it? The, the, there's no whiskey. We're out of whiskey. What are you doing? You're just, you're, 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 there's no whiskey, okay. That's a bit weird. I saw him pour it from a pretty full bottle. I yeah, that was, that was the problem, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing with your hands there? I'm praying for more whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm some more whiskey. <laughs> well, I'm a bar with like loads of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's one there. I don't have no whiskey. Please. He, he doesn't know what if he hasn't seen any whiskey. <laughs> well, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I mean, that's fair enough. Like, but you're I better like, laws. I'll take liquor without licenses. <laughs> but I better. Just uh, laws. I'll take a. Uh, I'll take whatever that is. And points a bottle. Oh yes, the whiskey. <laughs> take it to go for the inconvenience. <laughs> I can't afford that. I'll put all of that. Put on the house. Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy, sir. Yes. Uh, throws me a lot of tears. Here you go. Me. Okay, and he what he leaves. <laughs> yep. Worst boss. And the guy in the window, the front. Best he, there's boss. A, a human who's like always like across, he's smoking a pipe and he's watching you guys. I'm going to throw a, a little bit of coin in the thing because I feel bad. Okay. Yeah. How down. much do you throw? Um, I mean, how expensive was that bottle? I don't know. Would you, would you know? I don't know? know what that is. Uh, I put like five silver in there. Okay. Just put five silver in there. So sort of like 40 gold to go. <laughs> the guy, the angry. guy, the guy gets up, uh, starts like, Brushing himself down, and takes his pipe out, and he looks at you both, and he leaves. Mm, okay. What did he look like? Uh, he was a human, looked quite tidy. Have we seen him uh, before? Yeah, how long have you guys been staying here now? Probably about Once. four days. Three, four days. Yeah. You've probably seen yeah. him about. There's a, <laughs> him and the other guy are, lo are lo you know regulars. Okay. We. Uh, I'm gonna lock the lock the front. Door. Okay. Do you, okay, yeah, you take 10 minutes to find the right yeah. keys. Uh, you lock the front door. <laughs> and then we go out again. We're just doing more crimes. <laughs> <laughs> more okay. Crimes. Leave all the candles and the yeah. fire on. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, we'll switch them. Like, we'll close it down. Is Those there people there? upstairs are leaving. Is there a <laughs> one in, don't run out. Stack the chairs. <laughs> no, we just move them to, like, a corner so you can't see them from the street. <laughs> all right, yeah, you drag all the, tr the tables to one corner. <laughs> Just bottles. Oh, right, okay. The tables Empty bottles. So <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you you yeah, yeah. Everyone had something. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, Are there, like, does Freya perceive one? You've looked in the kitchen, you didn't see no, steps. it's fine. What do you reckon they're doing we'll just up there, Moxie? We're just going. We should leave, okay? I know something very sensitive. So we switch out the fire oh, and the sure candles, put the glasses Sorry, to the side, and I put a note on the desk. She is a cleric um, after all. <laughs> Out for lunch back soon. Okay, out for lunch back soon. Not on the front desk. Like, okay, uh, you hop out the window and <laughs> close the window you behind close it. Me, like, but not so it's locked, but so it's kind of. Oh, so the people that are sleep upstairs can get out if they want to. There's a fire. There's a fire outside. <laughs> Okay. At least I can leave. <laughs> just go through the window. <laughs> if you had just let me cook dinner, none of this would have We are dumb as rocks. <laughs> you guys made your way down. We have done nothing wrong. Me and, me and Amaya have no intelligence. <laughs> well, no, I don't need Nazora. No charisma. Okay. Oh my god. I mean, I think I'll find it's a solid minus one now. <laughs> All right, you guys made your way back to Kazz's. Oh In about god. half an hour that they were, what are you guys doing? <laughs> but it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> So, uh, should, we have those, should we have those shady cigarettes that we've got? <laughs> no. Uh, Kaz, have you, have you got the hair dye yet? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah do, can we do that tonight, maybe? I right. stare reproachfully. If that's what you would like me to do. I mean, it's nice that you've done anything better going on, yeah? No, I mean, <laughs> I, this is my life now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she takes you into the bathroom and you guys, um, you, you're using the warm water... She washes your hair. She's got a nice, delicate, very delicate with her hands. She dyes it. It was black, right? Yes. And she dyes it. It is a harsh black. It's not like modern colours. It's a very much ink-based. Um, and you come out with very goth <laughs> black hair. Oh, no. <laughs> Moxie's entered the emo state. <laughs> <laughs> right. It'll probably last a couple of weeks. All yeah, right. that's fine, yeah. And the start coming through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you should have to top. I might have to top mine up sooner. Again, a bit. The green bits are fading a, a smidge. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. I've got oh. a bit on me, though, so I'm fine. Okay, yeah, now, yeah, next, next time I need to do my roots, yeah, we can, yeah, we, we, we can do your tips. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> What? They fucked up a bar. We're doing our hair. No, 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 Okay. Uh, yeah, Kaz uh, oh, <laughs> pours you guys a drink. It's about now getting very late. So what are you guys going to do? We're, we're back now, yeah. right? Kaz, Kaz is getting ready for bed. So what did you find at the bar? Did you find anyone tied up? No. But we locked up. What do you mean locked up? Oh. <laughs> well, like we switched out all the candles and stuff and locked the front door. But what about the uh, patrons upstairs? They're asleep, so they'll be fine. Yeah, 100%. We just have to remember to unlock the door in yeah. the morning. What happens if someone wants to go in? Did you take the key? Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> 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 oh, <it's so> <laughs> uh, the, like the landlord comes and tries to... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, was speaking to, I was speaking to Moxley whilst you were up there. You didn't look in the, uh, in the wine cellar at all, did you? That's where, you know, again, it makes me sound all shifty, say, and I, that's where I would put bodies, but... Eugene, what have you done? Oh, nothing like that, no. But yeah, nothing like that. Yeah. I'm not yeah. trying to insin- insinuate I'm a criminal, but that's why I would, you know, tie Is people up. Is there something up. wrong with being a criminal, Eugene? Oh, for the right person, I suppose, but I'd be terrible at it. Yeah, I know that's fair. <laughs> well, I'm not going back up there, so if you want to break back in, then that's oh, something. Yeah, we are not leaving here tonight. In, we have a key. You're all welcome here, okay? I'm sorry, darling, what did you say? Is it breaking in if you have a key? Uh, technically... No, but grey area. Where did you get the... If someone gives you the key and it's not their key, then I suppose... I'm going to go to sleep. I'll think on this, don't If I'll... you're all going to stay here for your own safety, appreciate it if you... Lies down. <laughs> <laughs> just the rocks. Yeah. I usually think quite quietly, so don't worry. Okay. Or well, just don't... I'll think, yes, good. No talking. <laughs> okay. She goes off to bed. <laughs> good night, Kazaria. I'm going to know it, love. I, should we get some sleep? Yeah, and quite. Yeah. Then try and work out what we've just done in the morning. <laughs> I need to go and look at the map. This evening has been a lot of not wise decisions. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I throw my um, thieves' tools to um, Moxie and say, Can you fix these, please? 
uh, can I? Yeah. Have you got mending today? Yes, I saw I saw oh, like, no, I was fine, yeah. so. Uh, yeah, sure, no problem. And like, snap over the, over the wand and yeah, put it back together. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah I wish I'd remembered this when I broke my dagger. <laughs> <laughs> I just threw it in the sea. That's okay, sweetie. It happens to the best of us. We all throw daggers angrily into the sea when things don't go our way. I lost many of Royces. <laughs> Are you yeah. guys getting ready for bed? I'm yeah. gonna stay up with my cube. Okay. I will I will say you can wake up an hour later than everyone or you can roll a constitution saving we'll see how it goes. Okay. Well I'm okay, yeah. If you wake up at every, if you stay up an hour and you wake up early, I'll make you roll a con save, see if you're exhausted. Yeah, that's fair enough. Okay. Everyone else going to bed, are we? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so you guys make yourself all comfy on the floor, sofas, you fight among the chairs. Moxie makes her way to her own room. Sentinel makes her way to Kaz's room. I'll have a meditate. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and Eugene, what are you going to do with your lexicon? So I'm going to sit in the corner. Um, I sort of find a corner, but I'm going to sort of sit. So I'm looking into the corner. So like, I'm almost like, I'm not necessarily trying to hide it, but I'm... I am, well, essentially am hiding it from everyone. With your but, back to everyone else. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I get my um, nice smell device out, I'll give it a shake to emulsify stuff in there. And I don't know, all the smells waft out. And it's gonna sort of think, look at it, and I'm gonna, ca- I'm gonna try to cast mending on it. So okay. I'm gonna uh, go into my little pouch, get some uh, get some toffee, chew on a toffee and sort of smear it on the cube. Nice. Mend it. Uh, while we're talking about it, there was a correction I've realized we didn't talk about. So it turns out the rules is written, you can't attune to something if you don't know what it does. Um, but I kind of think that's a little bit bullshit. So we've kind of bent the rules a little bit. And when you first cast Identify, we've now decided that the only thing that you found out was that it could be attuned to. Yeah. And the rest of it was garbled nonsense. So that's that's the clarification on that one. Okay, you cast Mending yeah. on the cube for a start. Okay. Uh, what is it? That, what is it? You did you wipe something on it? Did you the toffee and stuff? Yeah, for the flavour. Uh, yeah. So you 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 cast a spell as normal, and you kind of you paste it into some of the the areas that look like cracks, but they're actually all cuboid directions. And as you wipe the stuff along them, sometimes those those gaps will seal and and ring as they connect back together. But nothing like that happens. The toffee, almost like um, it. Uh, what's the word? <coughs> <laughs> it um, cream <laughs> <laughs> sublimates. Uh, so you wipe the toffee on, and it's cool like alcohol, and it turns to vapor. And like, and nothing happens for a moment. And then this this cube is heavy in your hand. Um, and just to remind everyone, it's this slaty grey, metallic like substance, and the corners seem to have tiny cubes cut out of them. And then past those further in are some more cube sh- shapes, and then more, and then more. Um, as you're looking at it for a moment, you swear that those lines begin to move, and the cube on the corner gets almost imperceptibly smaller. And then you hear a crackling sound coming from it, and you realise that it's not coming from the cube; that it's in your mind. And there's a, a spinning up, a... and then you hear a crackling, distorted sound. So, guys, I blew up the hideout. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! You have found one of the very few hidden lexicons and attuned to it. As of today, TAS seven four five six lexicons are one of the last disquisitions to have been written. The lexicons were designed as schematic truth constructors and theory combination devices. When awakened, simply place the written plan of your disquisition inside and it will show you the hidden truths, should your schematic contain them. Since the Enriver's lexicon has found another purpose, as a time capsule of sorts, to be used by a worthy soul to one day piece together the history of the last known sect of the TLR race. Seek out the other catchers. Right? Fi- sorry, I forgot that. Uh, <laughs> to... to Piece together the story of the last known sect of the TLR race, the Lyplurine people, the writers of all things, the stealers of the great words, the Enrivers. 
So go, seek out the other caches, and good luck. I just sort of turn around and look back into the room. <laughs> so, is anyone awake? Uh, no, well, I don't know, it depends if yeah. they are. But that, yeah. they, you guys heard was. nothing. You guys heard yeah. nothing. Yeah, Aura was just that sort of meditating. Uh, so, <laughs> ventilating, you know, heavy, heavy breathing, you know, panicking. <laughs> Hyperventilating. Yeah, sorry. Sitting ventilating. <laughs> I said it, I was like, wait, what? I'm ventilating. Uh, one thing that you would uh, also, this this comes as it does with identify, um, and in your mind it seems that casting a spell on it, now you're attuned to it, has kind of uh, given it some kind of energy, and the channeling of that spell into it has uh, more or less done what you were trying to and when you tried to identify initially. And the other information you get is, to begin, uh, you must awaken the device using the Azoth of the self. Okay. And I will send you the, that as well as notes. <laughs> sure. yeah. Sweet. Uh, so I'm going to get out my schematics for the um, crossbow, and I'm going to do what the, uh, the voice sort of instructed. Okay. So roll them all up. You roll them up. You place them into the the cube has the, a hole through it, um, and nothing happens. Uh, just because it, you know, you did something the first time, I'll cast mending again and sure uh, see if that does anything. It spins up, and you hear the same message again, and it ends with uh, a rem- it ends with a ide- re-identification, which says to begin, you must awaken this device with the Azoth of the self. Does that mean anything to Eugene? Uh, roll a arcana or that would be the closest to an alchemy check, right? Yeah. Roll an yeah, arcana check. 25. Okay. <laughs> nice. Azoth um, is another word for the universal solvent. And uh, it was once the aim of the first alchemist to create um, a perfect Azoth that could that could be used uh, as a universal solvent for anything, not just in alchemy, but a universal uh, substance that was supposedly sort of the holy grail of alchemy, right? And now it's an old archaic word, and it kind of, with that role, the closest thing to that in modern alchemy is an essence. So an essence is a magical solvent, and usually it would contain things. Uh, so you can need an arcane essence. Uh, what other essences were there? Um, oh god, I there's a few remember. of them. Yeah, there's three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Azoth of the self. Your alchemy says that it may be that you would need to make an essence using yourself using either something from you, something from your body, uh, whether that's hair, <laughs> blood, or you are, you are aware though that alchemy is, as much as it's crazy, you could uh, easily get it wrong. There are lots of different potential directions, but if you want to make an, an essence of, your, of what it says of the self, you may need to, to look up the potential options that are before you and what it might mean. Because with the 25, you know that if you get it wrong, some things can go wrong to the point where they can't be returned. Cool. So I'll write this all in my, my notebook. Sure. I'll send you what he what he says, yeah. and, and, and that's fine. Okay. Put away my nice little device. Big smile on my face, but still a bit, you know, sweaty and shaky. <laughs> go to bed. Delicious. Okay. So, does everyone else go to sleep? I'm already asleep. Nice. You, okay. Today is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> what a day. And what a day it was. So you wake up. Uh, Eugene, if you're waking up with everyone, or are you going to stay in bed for an hour? Stay in bed for an hour. Everyone wakes up relatively early with Kaz. Uh, the day is yours. I'm going to go open up the cold petal. <laughs> okay, do you, what time do you get up early to do it? We'll yeah. say that, okay, yeah, we'll say that it's around six. Yeah. I'll go with the morning. Cool. You guys make your way up. Open uh, window. There's a, the dwarf woman is at the, the bar. And she's like looking key. around. Huh? Sorry? We have the key. Why are we going in the window? Because it's closer. Just hurry up, get in the window. She's looking at you through the over the desk. 
Hello. Wait, the the dwarf broken. woman, the dwarf woman from upstairs last night. Oh right, plate. okay. Uh, good morning. Hello. Time do you call this? <laughs> Six a.m. <laughs> He told me we got breakfast. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> um, you could practice cooking now. <laughs> take a seat, and uh, I'm just firing up the the kitchen, and I will be over in a minute to let you know. <coughs> did we oh, lovely. Did we, do we have a pub now? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we have a pub. The man Can comes we down as well. Yes. He okay. comes down in his like dressing gown, and uh, she sits by the oh, window. These people are okay. early, early risers. I'll be with you in just a second, sir. Take a seat, get yourself comfortable. Right, what the fuck oh, is in the lovely, kitchen? isn't it? <laughs> oh, why? Should I you do something? Uh, yes, uh, one sec. Sh- what? Shall I start them with drinks or something? Yeah, get them for drinks, get them for drinks. Okay. Just so a drink, you... one drink is included in breakfast. So what do you do, Warren? Okay. Over brandy. <laughs> 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 um, can I start you off with a drink? It's as for part of your breakfast. <laughs> Oh, yes, sir. Uh, well, I'll have a um, I'll have a whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, tea. And they're on separate tables, yes. by the way. Okay. Um, that I'll be right back with those. Tepid. Whiskey or tea? <laughs> <laughs> Both warm. <laughs> 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 Probably is tepid. I'll, um, okay. Oh god. I'll go and look for the whiskey. What do you do? What's in the kitchen? Uh, in, in the pantry, <laughs> there's <laughs> in, the, yeah, yeah. in the pantry is a lot of pickled uh, vegetables. Yeah. The only fresh stuff there is uh, cactus that's been ha- that's hung up. Mm-hmm. There's some uh, meat that you probably recognise as sand hulk. Yeah. It's got like a thick rind on it, like a rhino skin with a big okay. bit of fat that's hanging up drying. Um, there's no that's fresh. Bacon. <laughs> Are you making Hulk bacon? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna like thinly slice it, oh, you've got your it bacon. in pan. Hulk, yeah. <laughs> that's gonna be served with some. I'm gonna char some cactus because that that was a thing that they did on like hot coals. Char yeah. some cactus, um, and then with the um, and then I'll just mix up some pickles to make like a relish type thing. Okay, and that's that'll all right. Be breakfast. <laughs> okay, so you crack on with that. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> They're like getting, yeah, they're, yeah, they're having their problems. drinks, and I'd say uh, probably about ten minutes in, mm-hmm. you're starting with the bacon. You've started pickling some of the other stuff, making a relish. <laughs> I really want them to turn you, off. You hear the front door <laughs> click, no, 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 unlock, no, 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 and it is uh, grumpy. <gasps> yes. And she walks in, dark haired uh, woman. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Half elf. Get Everybody out. She looks. She you looks kicked out. You see her first, because you're out the front. She looks at you. Can I get you a drink? Oh, you can see drink. Excuse me? <laughs> what? It's a tapping. You've just seen her open the door, by the way. <laughs> but she hasn't unlocked. Yeah, so you you've seen, you, have, you have seen her before. Alright. I'm pretty sure you've seen her. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. she was. Because remember, I stole the jug. Oh, yeah. oh okay. <clears throat> So we'll rewind. You see her opening the door. Uh, good morning. Are you just yourself? You're not wearing anything like a towel. I'm just completely naked. <laughs> what? No. What is this? No, I'm just wearing what? whatever. I'm just wearing whatever. I understand. Oh, I thought you were serious. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, the naked chef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I was staying upstairs. Um, someone yes. left a bowl of stew upstairs. Um, right. Well, I was in your room. I'll sort it out. What? Did, okay. uh, I'll sort it out in a minute. I've only just got in. She walks okay. through. Um, okay. She's. She's. Uh, I'll just the, message Amaya. Shit. Hi. <laughs> you hear that? And then the door. I can't hide. I'm cooking. <laughs> just jump the door the window. The window is. The window is to your side. To your left. You're at you're on the side shopping. There's food on the, the MVP of this episode. Oh, she's the she's in the window. She's in the ground. Okay, yeah. she, she walks in the kitchen. <laughs> um, <laughs> what are you what are you doing? Okay, so I, I realise this looks odd, but can I explain? Yes. <laughs> okay, so yesterday I came back from being out for the day and offered to cook in the evening for the dinner service. But there was a tall 
asked, was he tall? A strong, tanned, half-elf man who was like, no, no, we've got someone in the kitchen already. And he was a bit shifty. So then he walked out the back and I followed him and there was no one in the kitchen. So obviously no one was cooking, which was weird. Why would he say that anyway? So then I realized he jumped out the window and disappeared. And there were still people in the pub. There was no one here. We couldn't find you all friendly. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys get kicked so, out of this so fucking pub. To be on the safe side, we, we tidy things away and locked the doors. And we got up early this morning because I accidentally woke up a couple of guests and I offered them breakfast, which I will pay for. Um, but also, would okay. you like a plate of breakfast? I have made sand hulk bacon, a pickle relish, and um, some cactus. cactus. Thank you. She looks down at the food. It's delicious. Uh, if I do say so. Roll a persuasion check with advantage. And I won't say why. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, that is. What was it? Sorry, persuasion. Yes. 14. <sighs> Where. Did you, you said. I don't know who friendly is, but Meredith was on shift last night. Meredith wasn't here last night. There was a man. A tanned, strong looking half elf man. <laughs> I tried to look in all of the rooms, which is why I woke up the two guests who I'm now cooking breakfast for, because I had to offer them something because they were really okay. pissed off. I've, I've got to go. I'm going to check on her. Where does she live? In the stubs. Is that where you live? Yes. <laughs> um, just you give go. them food. Uh, we'll look after things here. All right, and she leaves. <laughs> you lucky bitch. <laughs> Friendly. You rolled well on that persuasion. And because Meredith was on shift and she wasn't there, that's why you got away with that. So she <laughs> was shifty. Yep, she, she's gone. What are you guys all going to do? Maya, what did you do? She did yeah, less. She's, she's run out, yeah. She's, she's gone to go find Meredith, also known to me as Friendly, <laughs> um, because she was supposed to be on shift last night. Should we ask the others if they want breakfast? Nah, could do it, I suppose. I hop out the window, run down, <laughs> and ask if they want breakfast, and then run back up and through the window. Are you mad well, Miss Sherrod? <laughs> you guys do, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or it's just a bottle of whiskey, just like uh, <laughs> right, am, I, am I up? Yeah, or oh, so it's uh, I would say after that, you're kind of stirring. We'll give you that. So yeah, you guys will go up and... Oh, we... before we go, yes. um, I ask Kaz, um, I'm guessing it's still a really bad idea to go down to the cemetery, right? Probably. Okay. You're talking about the one on the ground, right? Yeah. But before you leave, she says, um, but I have got tickets. How many? Three. Um, which is a bit yes. of a problem. Oh no, why? Well, because I thought you had given one away. Yeah. Anyway, well, that's what I could get, so it is what it is. We'll sort it's it. better than nothing, love. She's Thank not going to come for breakfast. Rude. <laughs> that you guys are where you can be. What's wrong with my cooking? <laughs> oh, we don't have to role play the breakfast. <laughs> oh, we do. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go to Craig Wallace on this. <laughs> it arrives. Or, or it's just stood there at the farm okay, watching yeah. people climb through the window. Roll a preparation check. <laughs> <laughs> so Which is your sleight of hand. Okay. So, uh, sleight of hand for cooking. <laughs> we did this in our prequel. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a sick. You burnt the bacon. No. <laughs> okay, you, you got just... you got interrupted. You you got interrupted. The bacon's a bit thick. The relish is a little bit chunky. Roll a cooking check, which oh, is going to be survival. Do you not have like chef's utensils? Or... Uh, you do have you do have uh, cook's tools. So you yeah, I do. So you'll have proficiency. So both. What was your first roll? Your first one still be too bad. So with your, with your second roll, your cook, your cooking check for survival, and yeah. uh, your proficiency if you haven't already got it. Plus two, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Would we? How oh, this might be a timeout. When we do my alchemy, it's essentially eight plus your proficiency. Prof- proficiency and whatever I roll. So would it be something like that? This was the, this was just like a, a mini skill challenge. Oh no, fair enough. I just yeah. thought it'd be because that's a tool. So how, how do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Eight plus your because that's the it's like intelligence plus proficiency. So it'd be that plus whatever I roll. Okay, let's do that then. So nature check is wisdom. So your okay. wisdom modifier plus your proficiency, which is which two. Which is your survival. Oh yes, your, your survival is wisdom, though, right? Yeah. 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 
So one plus. It's not. Two, it's not two, good anyway. Three plus your roll. So what? three, and then I do I add what three, which is survival. I'm confused. Yeah, yeah. So, so what have you got for survival? Plus three. Plus, plus three. two for proficiency. So what did you get on the dice? So it's plus two. five. Plus so five. seven. So seven. <laughs> Oh, for us. you overcooked the bacon. Oh. It's a little crispy, bit, though. It's crispy, but it's, it's got a bad. couple of bits of burnt bits on there. Could go with the chard. I'm going to scrape them off like, like usually with toast, you can scrape off the burnt. Yeah, bits. all right. I call Zeal and let him have my bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a plating check. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> right, what's my plating? Um, performance. 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 Check, yeah. performance. Well, that's a 10. Plus two for proficiency and your performance, what was it? Oh, I so it's eight plus two. Plus two, twelve. You succeed on the plating, it looks lovely. <laughs> tastes like shit. It tastes a little bit Zeal little really crispy. likes it. Oh yeah, he likes it. Yeah, he does. Okay, right. My, I quite like the uh, burnt bit. It adds a oh, slight thanks. bitterness against the... Uh, Gets the pickles. I got a bit too. flustered in the new kitchen and, and burnt it, so I'm, I'm sorry for that, guys, but it might set you up for the day. It's still better than you would normally get, we'll put it that way. Okay, but it's better than you normally get, so. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone want some whiskey? I'll just put a bottle down on the table. <laughs> a bowl of whiskey? A, bo- a bottle. Oh, okay. All right, the day is yours, guys. What are you going to do with it? We need to get jobs. So we've Ooh, got... Go to the library. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, def- we've, I definitely need to go to the library too, actually. That's a very good I, point. I would definitely, I've got a whole list of things to research. Sentinel, um, we've got three tickets for the ball. So are we giving one to Farrow or are we assuming that he found his own way in? I think he's going to expect a ticket. Okay, yeah. cool. Fine. I mean, I can... I and can, if not, someone else can... Cool. If all else fails, I can probably try and force Cass to come. She's enough of a... She'll be able to talk to enough people in there. Okay. We need to talk about what jobs we want to get. I think there was some guard work going. Um, I went up to the estate, um, had a chat with a couple of the guards, and they said to go down to... Where was it? Uh, To go to the block, which is the government building. They said to go down to the block and inquire there. That's where all the um, jobs are, so that's fine. We can get them I, from there. I do need to go up to the estate. Um, I've been, I've mapped about a third of it so far. Um, mm, so if I can get up there again today and do another section, because um, we've got one more day, haven't we, after this? Uh, so or is it that day? You have it's the fourth of Vard, and the ball is on, on the, the sixth. sixth yeah. So you okay. have fourth, fifth, and the sixth. So the you got two full days, and then it's the day of the ball. So ticketed okay. people need outfits. So who are we sending ticketed? I'm going to say... Who's the most charismatic? That would be me. You're going to be going to the party. <laughs> <Lovely>. <laughs> you get to go to the ball, Cinderella. <laughs> I, I, if you make me wear a dress, I'll skin you. <laughs> um, perhaps I should go try and go as a guard. At least then I can have a reason to have a weapon. I, 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 as long as you can get work inside and not just stand outside. I can try and get job as like a cook. Like well, after breakfast, nice. I think well, you'll be great. I mean, and I've, I've you. worked in a kitchen before, so I should be fine. We'll go in as a chef team. Well, weapons shouldn't be too much of an issue as so long as we don't need them on the day. If I go in the night before, I can put all of our weapons and anything that we might want in the house. Pop in, it takes me 12 seconds to get in and get out. You're a genius. Thank you. Okay. So that means I'll also accept cocktail uh, maker or waitress. Lovely stuff. It could be a waitress. So who's coming with me? Oh. Is there any, do we have two tickets? So we have two tickets for us and we have a third ticket. So we, we can try get and find Farrow. serving staff of some form. If you guys have decided to, yeah. So if you've decided to put one aside for Farrow, then yeah, you have to. I don't know how good an idea it is for me to talk <laughs> at a party. I mean, I, mean that, I can be quite quite persuasive and yeah, you know, I can be quite. I can be quite the the two of you together. Well, I won't be... look like me. True. But it would also be good to have someone on the ground who can listen and listen in. I can worm my way into conversation, but I can't listen to what other people are saying across the dance floor. True. Mm. I could stand in a corner. You could be very, very shy. Therefore, you don't have to say much really at all. And I've mm. I've been dancing with Cows for the last eight years. I can spin you, you around a dance floor. 
You, you, you can tell everyone you're there. Oh. Well, me. I can also turn myself or someone invisible for an hour. So How many times, times, though? And we don't know what there is in terms of magic. Yeah, that's the thing. Sort of that's, the one, that's the one thing I'm worried about is that um, if I go in with a different face and that drops. But I think that's going to have to be a risk that we're willing to make. At this point, we're going to get made any day. The best we can do is at least if we keep you out of the spotlight, at least only one of us gets made. So I can turn you around to Sahara and no one has to hear from you again. I'm telling you, you really did die that I did kill you in the middle of a forest. Could you also disguise yourself like regularly? So like have a fail safe? I don't have a disguise kit, but if someone, and I'm not proficient with one, but if someone is, we then could, sure. We, could buy we can one. do our best. Yeah. yeah. Kaz, <clears throat> Kaz did my hair, so maybe she can do other things as well. What, what did you have in mind? Well, I don't know. Maybe we dye your hair for a start. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys are chatting, you see um, Grumpy returning. You guys have no idea what her name is. Her name is Grumpy now. Uh, she, <laughs> like, hey, your drink. <laughs> she actually comes over to the table, assuming you're sat down as well, eating. Yeah. Um, thank you for looking after the guests. Um, Mer- Meredith is fine. Uh, she was asleep. Is that normal? She- no, <laughs> she slept for about a day, <laughs> so very odd. But uh, she's well. Uh, I'm gonna have to report her, but uh, I just thank you. Uh, I would just like to say, instead of reporting her, I, I feel like you two should be concerned for your safety, because if she slept for a day and some random person turned uh, up, no, I'd have no idea who this man was. No, I will. I will. Link, you're right. right. Uh, Maybe here's a. Any reason? I have no idea. Um, we may end up having to close for a while. I don't want to speak ahead of the landlord. It will be his choice to make, but... Uh, well, their choices are a couple, but... Well... Who is the landlord? It's it's a, a, a couple who live in the Glitters. Uh, I don't know if it's appropriate, really, for me to tell you their names, but they are... A wealthy couple. That's fine. Uh, look, I, I, I'm, I thank you. Uh, Would you like some breakfast? I'm okay. We. Okay. That's if we don't. Sandwich out the back. Uh, thank, thank you. Um, if we don't close, then uh, the next few nights are free. Uh, I don't know what else I can do to say thank you, but uh, you can tell she's very awkward. She's like, okay, I'm. I better. Yeah, well, she's if you there. need anything or let us know, we're we're popping out for the day, but we'll be back. We'll be around to help out if you need. Are you, are you mercenaries or something like that? Yep. Okay. Well, that's useful. Slash just nice people. Do I, do I think she's like? Is there anything she's hiding? Roll an inside oh. check. Mm-hmm. Thank you for not just yelling inside check. Um, <laughs> I can't do. Uh, that's a 20. Uh, no, she seems flustered and uh, a little bit scared. And she's having a bad day. Yeah, she looks like she's having a bad day. And she, okay. you know, says thank you once more and goes into the back. She comes back, takes the key off of you. <laughs> the key that never got used. Okay, so the day is yours, guys. Where are we going first? Uh, I'm going to go and do the map. Jobs. Yes. I'm going to go and do the map. Oh, did you write that okay. CB I told you about? So you're going to go and look at jobs after? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll let them go first and I'll meet up with them somewhere. And do you want just us to look for a job for you? We could do yeah. that. Yeah. The you. guy at the gate... I don't know some specific one. I think the guy at the gate said you have to go to the block to get jobs. Don't yeah. know if yeah. there's anything. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you don't know any specifics. Actually, you're from Dustmere. You would know that getting jobs, you need usually you'll need some kind of identification if you're going to the block. It's a government building, so they won't be able to. It's likely they won't be able to get you a job. Oh, They'll be able, able to tell to you tell. if they're vacancies, but yeah, I'll, I'll tell them all this. Okay, um, so you guys all head to the block. Uh, you make your way. Yes, yes. I 
turn into a <laughs> half elf. <laughs> nice. Very nice. A strong half elf. Is that number one, two, uh, seven? Hang on. <laughs> Half elf number three. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. So the block it is it rests in the deepest part of the city at the base of the moon wall. So you travel um, southeast um, over the river um, through the thoroughfare with the glitters gates who is on your left, and you move to the block. And the first part of the block is. Uh, the block square, which is where the Molterite obelisk is, the big statue of molten glass that looks a little bit like a deformed, like mannequin in a way. Uh, you see a large building in the shade of the moon wall. Uh, most buildings in Nusmiru, they're not old. They're not that old. The city's only been around for sort of seventy years. Uh, the stone and wood uh, of the government buildings is it's it's like blocky, uh, red roofed, fenced off. Um, there are officials wandering around the square, other than that it's barren at this type of the time of the day, and you arrive at sort of half seven, eight in the morning. Um, you walk through the fenced area into an entry hall, and inside you enter a darkly, there's darkly lacquered doors into this opulent entry hall. Most of the walls are taken up with paintings. Um, that have been painted directly onto the plaster, scenes of magistrates in these huge robes of black um, flowing ribbons that remind you a little bit of, of something at home. Um, and they're standing before hundreds of people making judgments in this very sort of uh, audacious fashion. Um, armies slashing and overcoming strange humanoid shapes in the dunes. Um, and either there's a big desk right in front of you on either side of it are a few lacquered doors. Uh, the one on the left goes deeper into the block building and above that entryway is a large eye carved into the top. And those of you from the Empire will know that is the Emperor's eye, which is the symbol of the court, um, the non-divine side of the courts. And then on the other side of the desk is a couple of doors uh, that look like they just go into offices. And behind the desk in front of you, uh, is he looks tiny behind this massive desk, um, wearing a purple dinner jacket, writing on this massive ledger with a peacock quill. Um, is a small half elf man. He's muttering to himself. He's drop. No, he's just a <laughs> small <laughs> dude. <Is he> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna walk up to the desk then. Good luck on your uh, interview. <laughs> Good morning. Yes, what do you want? He doesn't look up. I am here to see if there are any job vacancies for the ball that is happening. The ball? In days time. You sure you don't want just to go in the desert? There's lots of vacancies there. No, I've been there, done that, I'm all good. Oh, we've been in here, okay. <laughs> Scratches something down on the paper. Excuse me, do you want to like, fix your attitude a little bit? No, thank you for asking. Uh, if you're looking for balls, uh, oh, yes, jobs, balls. Uh, look at the, the board, and as you turn around, off to the side is this massive uh, board of velvet green, and it's uh, it's been it's been uh, worn away to sort of just the fabric, and he, ta he takes you over there, comes around. <sighs> right, well, uh, I mean, you're a bit late, to be honest. Uh, but uh, there's no more long preparation jobs. And he looks through. You can see that on the on the board. Ah, fucking lost my. Here it is. On the board, there's a few things that have been ripped or cut through. Archivist break and private investigations. Private investigators needed. That's been crossed out. A bit ripped. Uh, rumors of an animal in this old stubs and drains stealing goats. That's been ripped up. <laughs> oh god, damn! I wanted to do that. <laughs> um, it's more than just goats, my man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then there's one. Duke de Barle's household seeks skilled guards, trained scullery maids, and cooks to aid in a fabulous event celebrating his duke's return. Dustmere. Yes. Uh, well, as I said, no long preparation jobs this close to the ball. You've cut it a bit fine, but uh, yes, scullery maids, cooks. Guards. Pays two gold a day. Jobs commence in the morning of the 6th. Uh, that's wrong, actually. We'll get there after midday. I think they're falling behind a little bit. Ball begins at Geish Rising. Uh, oh, wonderful affair. One absolutely wonderful affair. 
Will you like, be ascending? Oh, absolutely not. I wish. <laughs> it's not the normal thing down here in Dustmere, I tell you that much. It's uh, <laughs> worth it simply to be there. I'm tempted to take the job myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so how do we? Sorry, is that a joke? Am I? I think it was. Oh, okay. Um, so Roxy, how do we stop um, apply to get these jobs? Right. <laughs> yes. And he fl- turns around in a whirl, goes back to the desk. Uh, I'll need your papers. Uh, take your names, occupations, a few details, um, and then we can go from there. Okay. I have papers now, right? Don't yes, you? Yes. yes, everyone has papers. Yeah. You were a Maya cook. Oh, yeah, So does T. Johnson. I, I'm going to hand over my papers now. Oh, yeah, I'm going to my papers And I am a freelance chef. Oh, okay, wonderful. He looks at them, okay, no problem there. I uh, pass over my uh, alchemy papers. Yes, they're legit, no problem there. Um, I'm treating Kaz's ones as legit because she's very good. Um, okay. Uh, Can we hand over um, auras without him being here? T. Johnson's? You guys I didn't give it. Yeah. I gave them. I would have given the prayer if I knew Oh, okay. Papers. You ask him. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's very. Ex- he's very good. He's very expensive. <laughs> yes. He has lots of experience. He's, he's a guard. See, yes. and she looks at the papers. Uh, it's a little unorthodox. Roll a persuasion check, and just someone who was helping you, or you can do both. Do you want to help. roll twice? Would you like me to roll twice? Well, you were you were kind of leading it, so you guys can roll one each. Okay. Oh, no. Sixteen. Sixteen, or did you? A one. <laughs> no, uh, sixteen. Yeah. Well, all right. I'm kind of. Yes, fine. Whatever. Give me the papers. <laughs> Write them down. And what is his his job at the moment? Is a uh, guard? Is he? Bodyguard. Bodyguard, right? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Puts that down. Uh, and uh, anything else? One, we need one more. Because of any. Anyone else is going to. Yeah, we can. You're going, yeah. right? Am I going? Yeah, okay. Uh, yes, yeah, I'm going for me, yeah. Okay, you are a, a maid, we're looking for scullery maids. Yeah, no, or yeah. That sounds, a that maid. sounds good. Lovely. Yeah. Papers, you're all good. Uh, okay, he then hands you, uh, he writes some things down, he folds them up. Licks them, all that shit. Hands them over to you. Uh, right, uh, these jobs are not yours until you go to the Debar's estate. Uh, most definitely before the day of the ball. I would go. I would go today. Uh, you'll need to meet the house steward, uh, Mister Yuld, and get me a necessary equipment, uniforms. Uh, he'll confirm your attendance. He'll take the letters. That tra- transaction will be complete. And uh, then you'll be paid directly by the Debar's estate after the affair. And and what an affair it will be. What an affair it will be. It's a <laughs> masquerade, you know that. We will, right? we will come back and tell you all so about so it. Did you know that? Did we know it was a masquerade? I'm, not sure, I'm sure that we might have done. Well. Did we know that it was a masquerade? No. <laughs> yes. Fucking yes. Oh, I could kiss oh, you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, just just my mom. Just oh, thank God. you very much for your help. Yes. We're off. Okay, right, well. Enjoy your writings. Shakes his head. <laughs> uh, as you guys are leaving, you uh, hear a sort of cluttering at one of the doors on the right side of the desk, if you're looking at it. And um, you see uh, Mousy, the mousy bes- bespectacled squint of the arch alchemist coming out of one of the offices. And he walks with a stack of papers and he trips over his flowing green uh, bronze robes. Just Can I go and try and help him? Yeah, yeah sure. I, I run to help him. Yeah, okay, well. so you guys run over and you help. So you, papers are skittered over the floor a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> and the, the guy comes from behind the desk. Goes, oh, no, 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 it's fine. He gathers him up and yeah, he puts his glasses back on. Him. Oh, I re- oh, hello. <laughs> Eugene, are you okay? your friend. I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. You've I not think. met me before. Have you not? No. no. And also, I'm a half oh, elf. Oh my god. <laughs> Doesn't recognise you. Oh, Eugene, hello. <laughs> sorry, I've... It, it, clumsy. <laughs> well, it happens to the best of us, I suppose. Uh, as long as you're all right, that's, not, that's all that matters. Oh, yes, yes. I'm well, just clearing out the office. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've... Um, Applied to for some jobs at the ball. Oh, really? Well, okay. Oh, yes, yeah, so I've uh, worked in kitchens before, so I just thought, um, you know, 
Yes, I mean, yeah. Eugene, if you're off to work, you can bring me, you can join the guild, you know. Oh, you know, no, I know. It's, it's, it's not the money, I just thought it would be a bit of fun, really, for an evening. Well, I mean, if you really like that kind of thing... Well, uh, I used to work here, and my family is a... I suppose you would call it a kitchen, really, but yeah. Yes, oh, OK, well, you're there for the cooking. I mean, I, I can understand that. It's sort of formal alchemy, I guess. Um, sorry, sir, you said you were cleaning out the office? Yes, yes, my, my tenure is over. De Biles returned to the city, yes, unfortunately. Uh, it is a shame. I regrettably pass governance back to his household. Um, I did feel like I was making a difference, you know. I did. It sounds cliche, but... I'm sure you <sighs> were, sir. I'm sure you were. Yes, well... Anyway, I... Oh, I think um, uh, me and my uh, friends will be at, in the uh, library today, actually. Oh, um, I believe they've been given access by the archivists and I'll yes, be yes, that's researching right. as well. You and your friends, uh, are your friends, yes, they oh, I can't say I, uh, I, I did much of the uh, deducing, but uh, yes, they uh, I hear solved they the case. Very successful, yes. Sad, I must add. Oh, sad to hear. Sad. Um, obviously awful. Um, and I do feel for Teal. She doesn't deserve what happened, but... Uh, I'm not party to the way that they run things, so unfortunately she has been sent back to Sahira. Oh, uh, has she already gone? Uh, I'm not sure. They're quite quick with these things. Uh, at least the Alchemy Guild is, they don't mess around. But uh, I do believe she will be leaving, uh, if not already, unfortunately. Uh, this might not be the uh, best place for such uh, questions, but... The, the, the alchemist, we haven't had a break in at all, like the archivist have. Oh, no, no, nothing like that, thank God. Uh, well, thank the gods. Uh, uh, do I believe him? Roll in such check. Oh, that's an actual 20. Very nice. Yay. Sorry, it's not a 20, it's like the... Uh, yeah, no, he seems, if anything, a little bit proud. Um, doesn't, he's not, doesn't seem to be lying. Cool. Well, uh, maybe I'll see you in the library. I... I, I, I've got some things to do in the lab, but, uh, yes. Well, you don't know if, um, fellow, uh, Joplin's, uh, working today, do you? Uh, Talina, uh, her first name. I, you know, I'm not sure. But, uh, she doesn't leave that, uh, that part of the library often, so, uh, a friend of yours, is she? Oh, well, yes, I, I said, uh, um, I would, uh, meet her next time I was, uh, at the library, so... Lovely. I'm sure she, we can do some research together if she's uh, got a free moment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, she's very bright. Uh, she's been uh, studying fertility of the of the sand, uh, mainly. And, uh, oh, that sounds can... incredibly interesting. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. So, uh, I'd say, but her, her study specifically, uh, to be honest with you, is part of what we asked your little group to come down for. Terrible, though, obviously. What happened? Oh, yes. Absolutely terrible. But uh, we wanted to discover, you know, if we could make the sand more nutrient rich and uh, sort of proliferate pl- pl- the, the growth of, you know, flora and fauna and the kind of stuff, really. It would be a wonderful resource. There's so much of it. Amaya leans against the wall and is like, Amaya, <laughs> oh this is fascinating. If you could uh, harness sand to be, uh, you know, rich in nutrients, you could do so much of it. And it's, it's you know, a free resource. It's all around us. I agree. It would be great. But I'm interested in the end product, not the process. Sorry. He puts his hand like, I lean on, back against the wall. He puts his hand, he like, pats you gently in like a sort of awkward way, like he's not a very charismatic man. And like, some people just are not built for this kind of thing, Eugene. And that is okay. I'm sure that she's wonderfully talented in all sorts of other ways. Oh, she is. You should see me handle a sword. There you go. I would be, I'd be more than useless. <laughs> A baby well, master, master little char did have a, a lovely flavour. Oh, well. Oh, sorry, she, she's, uh, sorry, I should have said uh, she's a cook as well. Otherwise, that would be an incredibly weird thing to say. <laughs> yes, <laughs> quite. Well, I uh, guess be off. Uh, it's a sad day. But, uh, yes. Thank you, thank you for your well, pleasant conversation. So thank you for your uh, leadership, I suppose. Yes, thank you for your service, sir. Oh, oh, oh. I bow. I... I do not deserve such treatment, thank you. It's very kind of you. Uh, I like the little clap. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the clap. He leaves, <laughs> nodding, nodding, awkwardly leaves. Um, okay. Now, Freya, dearest, when would you like to go and get a dress? Oh, uh, I... <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, Aura. You make your way to the glitters. Through the gates, uh, the guards uh, are changing early morning. Um, you don't see the same guy you spoke to yesterday. A uh, guy in, a, in the standard beige uniform. Hello there. Morning. Uh, you live here? Yeah, nearby. Papers, it would be uh, much appreciated. Um, oh, fuck. Well, can't get into oh, the no, you don't have your... Pa- oh, no. You can't get into the glitters without reason. Um, I was sent out from the block to... Um, to ask about some of the jobs. They wanted an update on what posts have been filled. Okay. Um, roll a persuade, uh, deception check. Mm. Twelve. Odd that you don't have any papers for that. Uh, they were in a rush and uh, first person they could find to send up here. I'm rolling a percentile to see how much this guy liked his job. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty low. <sighs> I remember your face. Don't fuck me. All right. He opens the door. Go on. See you later. Cheers. Closes the door. Okay, you're in the glitters. Um, I wander to <coughs> towards the estate and go to a section that the section I didn't do yesterday. Sure. Or it's one of the sections. Yeah, so you, you find the front gate of the of the Debar's estate and you make your way the opposite side around to last time. I'll try and find like a bench in an alcove like yeah, I did yeah. last time. That's fine, yeah, you find something similar to that. Um, what seems to be the opposite side and how many charges do you have left on your compass? Uh, it regains its charges on a dorm, I believe. Yeah, so I only used it yesterday. I haven't used it in a while before that. Okay, yeah, so you've got two more because charges. I was unconscious for two days. Yes, yeah, so you've got two more charges left, so just make sure that you keep an eye on that. Uh, yeah, you cast it again. The ink spools out the, the sand in the middle of this old compass over the same page, and you kind of aim it in a just about the right place and um, there's a few gaps, but you think you can link it up. And you get the other side of the building, which is a large hall, L-shaped hall. Um, so you've got like okay. two outside parts of the building yeah. and a missing center. Okay. Um, I'll trace all that down like I did with the other part. Sure. Okay. And start wandering back sort of in a vague direction of sort of the block and the hideout. Um, I just see if I pass them on the way. Yeah, you you can you meet up with the guys. So where where to next, guys? Don't we need to go to the um, to Deval's estate to get? Um, that's when it takes an hour. It takes an hour. All well, the map lasts for an hour, so I don't know how long it would have taken them to get to me after that conversation. It's a while. Yeah, you, you said it last night, but you were jotting it down, right? So you just scribble it down quick. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. No, um, like how long it would have taken like us whether, to get to How him. far away they would have been when I was leaving. How far is it from the glitters? To yeah. the oh, it's about it's about 40 minutes from, from the block to... So no, back like to the that. Mariners. So then another... So probably an hour, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. Would I bump into them like just as they're arriving and I'm leaving? Yeah, you're. I mean, let's say you meet halfway between... Okay. So you meet around the Mariners we'll market. around and get back. <laughs> so what are the rest of the to-do list then? We need to go and send you guys to the estate. We need to go and get outfits. Yeah. We There's also been a, quite a few of us who said that we want to go to the library. To the library. <laughs> How about you guys get clothes while we go That's what I and was sort thinking. that out yeah, and then good, meet yeah, up shopping at montage. the library? Yeah. I need to visit, okay. um, well, I know a good tailor that we can visit. That's mm. fine. Um, Moxie, what is your passive perception? Oh, oh good. Oh, no. <laughs> A nine. Okay. <gasps> no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't see anything? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but but Freya. Freya. 
Okay. Fred, <laughs> 21, right? Yeah, more, more 22. Now. Oh, God. Oh, she can see everything. She's more. As you, uh, as, you pass, uh, the Mar- as you pass the Mariner's Market and you meet up with Aura, um, you see, uh, not at the Cobble and Petal, uh, but you see among the uh, markets that are set up and they're getting, getting ready for the day, you see a man um, in a robe, uh, long and dark, looks a little bit ragged, and he has a gem in his throat, and he's staring at Moxie. Hmm. And you just catch a glimpse of him, and then when you look back, uh, well, let's see if he can beat a 22, I guess. He is gone. <gasps> oh, wow. oh, fuck. <laughs> Am I next to Moxie? Am I be next to Moxie? Yeah, you guys are together. <laughs> I elbow her and I'm like, don't knock. He, he, I guess what you would, uh, he was a tiefling and he had, let uh, me just double check this. Don't want to get it wrong. Is your necklace a, a, a your family thing? He was, um. My necklace is a camo of my mom. He's got like grayish skin. From from where you saw him from that distance, he looks like he might have once been bald, um, and he has got a stubble on his head and face, and then he's gone. That was a guy. What are you? And that is where we're going to end today. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.